Yori Yori Dozi. Yos! I was looking for a decent uh, laptop, especially on Black Friday, of course. And everything was on sale. And I had a lot of trouble finding one for a decent price. So, uh, um, shout out to uh, CNU member um, Nico PBG. He recommended this uh, Asus laptop. And it's very expensive, very, very expensive, of course. <laughs> I can remember the name. It's, it's the Asus um, Tough Gaming, T U F Gaming, um, FX705 or 705G um, Asus laptop. It's a, lot of, it's a horrible name. <laughs> I've been um, testing this and uh, having a few games on it, playing with it for over a week now. This thing is uh, around 999 US dollars, 50 dollars a month. It's a lot of money. So um, this thing is very. It's not as powerful, but it's it's on the mid range level power. Hope you all like this review. First things first is the of course the top of the laptop. And <laughs> I'm just marks here already. <laughs> it's very slick, very beautiful. It has um, laser cut lines over here, you know, as usual for gaming laptops. <laughs> this design needs to look, you know, um, needs to look, look powerful. At the back, there we go. It has a lot of exhaust. Since well, it's a gaming laptop, of course. This is where you plug the charger, and here's the uh, internet boot, USB, and I mean HDMI, and here's the uh, USB 2.0. So there's only one USB 2.0, and it's this one, which is retarded, and you know, two standard USB ports, of course, and the jack for your headset. So sleek looking design in the front, nothing fancy, and of course the sides again. Yeah, just an exhaust from the sides. No this tray. <laughs> Usually, um, laptops back then, gaming laptops back then, had a this tray. Here's underneath of the access gaming laptop. This thing has a lot of exhaust. So this thing is upgradable of course. You can upgrade the RAM. It's, it's uh, equipped with um, 16 gigabyte of RAM. That's, that's a lot already. That's, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. This thing is heavy. Very heavy. 5 pounds. Don't, don't try to carry it with one hand. It's very heavy. Holy cow. Lifting it carefully. It's one hand. <laughs> it's very heavy. And first thing you notice, of course, is the red marks or the lines from the keyboard. And it's very beautiful. And we have what we have here. Of course, this is NVIDIA. Um, 8 gen CPU is running on the 1060 GeForce 1060. There's a cheaper one, the 1050 model, I do believe, but you know, just get a 1060 right now. 1050, 1050 is also um, VR ready. DTS, standard. So, this symbol here is that we can't. It's hard to. Can't show it. Yeah. Hyper cool technology, so you can raise the you can raise up the cooler. It's gonna get super noisy, but I don't actually recommend it. It might drain the lifespan of it. And what we have here is the I IPS. I don't know what's the IPS level. Um, nano edge display. I don't know what the hell is that. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's, it's a powerful laptop. What is this? 
Military grade 35 toughness. That's bullshit. There's no such thing as such thing. It's military grade crap. This thing falls down, it's gonna break. Simple as that. DTS and 20 meter key press durability. Um, it's all fancy bullshit, but so far, um, this thing is just equipped with 1060, uh, the GT GTX graphics card. It is a 6 core CPU and 18 gigabytes of RAM upgradable, and of course, 500 um, gigabytes of storage. So it's not, um, it is a mid range gaming laptop since it's not even one terabyte. That's, that's again, it's another problem. But it is upgradable, storage is upgradable, RAM is upgradable. So that's that's the cool thing. This why it's only on $999, which which is still expensive. And now we're about to check of course. It's gonna lip, see that? That is beautiful. <laughs> you cannot change the color of the um, the keypad, which it's, it's alright, it's alright, doesn't matter really. And make sure that um, whenever you're gonna play a game, make sure that the charge, the adapter, the charging adapter is always plugged in. Because um, if it's not plugged in, the games won't be running properly, especially the demanding games like Soul Calibur, Hellblade, Tomb Raider. Make sure to plug always the AC adapter. This thing is quite heavy also. Always pick the best wallpaper, of course. Sorry about the glare over there. <laughs> but yeah, Doom. <laughs> yes, this thing can run Doom. <laughs> we don't we won't test that. Uh, we don't we won't test Doom here, of course. We'll test a better game than that. And anyway, um, this thing boots fast, it's SSD of course. And look, look at how fast fast is that. Oh well, nothing fancy. You know, everything is popping right here. It's all everything you know, everything works. It opens up quickly. So no problem with that. Click on Google. Simple as that. So it's quick, quick and easy. But we're not here to do that. We're here to play some games, of course. So, so again, SSD boosts really fast. Not to mention 16 gigabyte of RAM. That's a lot already. That's it's too much. My my desktop, my desktop is only 8 gigabytes of RAM. So before we start, let's check of course the max settings for this. I already fixed it and the best we can do is 1600 by 900. You can play at uh, 1080, 1920 by 1080 but um, there's going to be frame rate dips on it. But it still, you know, it still looks very very impressive. Um, custom settings of course. Yeah, high, 4x, normal, BTO, of course, ambient occlusion, level field normal, level video normal also. Translation on, bloom on. We can on motion blur, but I don't really recommend motion blur because it looks looks really ugly. Makes movement appear smoother by its blurring geometry. I don't rec I don't really recommend that. Never like motion blur. Screen space reflections on, of course. Pure hair is of course normal. You can go easy, it'll be faster, but you know, this thing is a beast already. Screen space shadow, you don't need that. But so far, this is already a good se good settings. There you go. I like um, this game, it's pretty good. Much better than Red Dead. <clears throat> so far, the best games I played was Dark Siders and Shadow of Tomb Raider. Spider-Man was trash, God of War was trash also. Yep. This is 60 frames per second. And it is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Performance issues really good. It's kind of too loud, so we'll... There we go. A little softer. But it's too loud. Sorry, sorry about the glare here. Um, hold on, if you can do something about it. There you go. There you go. Part of the plane landed here. My gear is in that cargo. 
Look how impressive that water, water details, very, very good also. No problem. Either. This is what happens when we put it on 1080. So there, there will be actually a lot of difference, of course, apply changes. It's, it's still gonna run 60, but with dips on it. See, there's certain dips already on it. Not to mention V-Sync is also on. That's 1080 already. You can see that it's, you know, it's dipping already. But it's alright. 900p is very, very good. Next game we'll be playing is Darksiders. Land Fire Games. Again, SSD loads really fast. You guys can hear that sound, that's the fan of the laptop. Graphics for Darksiders 3. We can play this by, by 1080p and then shadow quality, medium. You can reset, but it doesn't matter. I want I want it to be locked on 60 frames per second. Medium high, 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 so everything's high already, so it's all cool. Vertical sync on. This game is very impressive. That was my last video, the, the review on it. Very impressive. Look how fast it boots up. Yeah, it's 60 frames per second already. There's no enemies, enemies because um, I killed all of them already. <laughs> God damn it. Get that already down, and we need to finish it away. But so far, you know, <laughs> the fan crazy noisy. The fan, but so far, lock lock on 60 frames per second again 1920p by 1080p. So basically, it's 1080p. So this one was a sleeper hit, and no one paid attention to it that much. But this is Earthfall. I was supposed to do a video of this, but I got lazy, but I played a shit ton of hours on this game. It's a very fun game, very, very fun game. Graphics, of course. 1920 by 1080. Everything is, I believe, it's high on here. So everything's high. FX quality, texture, post processing, A quality. It's all high. You all need to check this game out because it's super fun, super fun game. Crazy level, level of detail. <laughs> okay, wow, I can't believe we got out of there. It's basically Left 4 Dead, juice up, it's a juice up version of Left 4 Dead. I think we're supposed to go that that old, where it doesn't play like that dumbass game, ev Evolve? Evolve. <laughs> There was a bumper there with gear. 
Okay, Sunnyvale Trailer Park, here we come. Again. Beautiful detail, beautiful graphics. I told y'all, this is the, gonna be the best review for this Asus gaming laptop. The FX, uh, blah blah blah, blah. TUF gaming laptop. <laughs> I, hate, I hate those laptop names. You should give something better. Like the Predator. It was also from Len Lenovo, I can't remember that name. But Alienware is also a good name, but Alienware is garbage right now when we got bought by um, HP. HP is trash. Even if they're number one right now. <laughs> There's a resistance crate here. This is, this is basically max out settings already. Get to the chopper! Holy shit! Holy shit, bro! What the fuck? Holy shit, man! Oh shit! It's a go up. Oh. oh my god! Told y'all, Earth War is a really good game. <laughs> Get to the chopper. Uh oh, uh oh. Now we're done. Now we're done. Now we're done. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, <laughs> really good game, really good game. Next one is one of the most impressive action games that I have ever played. This is already in my top 10 already, along with Ninja Gaiden, Shinobi, Hagane. Top 10 action games ever created. This is, of course, Hellblade. I'm glad Microsoft bought Hellblade. I am glad they bought this company. Because they need a lot of money. You know how you know, fast loading times. And this is in. Yup, 1920 by 1080. Very high. Holy shit. Display move. Racing on. Holy cow. This is no, I don't think this is gonna dip. Crazy amount of detail. Crazy. I see a little dips on it, but not a lot. Not like Tomb Raider. Because Tomb Raider is an open world game. But this one is. Yeah, this one is very good already. It will get faster on 900p, of course, but it doesn't matter. I mean, even in 720p, this game looks absolutely fantastic. But for Hellblade, I would just recommend getting it on the Xbox One. Because it has HDR on it. So HDR is still better than this one. <laughs> it's a fact. I wish this was an OLED gaming laptop. I wish it had HDR, of course. But it's gonna be too expensive for that. Crazy amount of detail going on here. Crazy amount of detail. A 
as a fan, of course, it's processing a lot of high-level graphics, detail, post-processing, ambient occlusion, shadow, <laughs> dynamic shadows, dynam dynamic lighting. It's all processing here. And that texture is crazy right there. Crazy, I'm telling you. Best looking game this, you know, last gen. But it's gonna lose to Cophead. Cophead won, of course. <laughs> Crazy amount of detail here. Yeah, man, that's insane, man. It looks like a work of art. Can you imagine this open world, open world style? Because they, they, they had the budget. Microsoft's gonna give them a lot of money. And then open world, this level of detail. Crazy. Yes, it's just crazy right here. It's all dead people. But whatever it is, this is still a a walking simulator. <laughs> a very good walking simulator because it's a puzzle game also. Oh goodness! Yes, if you guys can hear that, that's the fan of the laptop, and it sounds crazy. That's that's the low cost of. I am gaming laptops. Noisy, noisy all the time. Nefelheim. What right, about the Milfen, Milfenheim? <laughs> this game really good game here's the thing with Soul Calibur is that uh, with also same same thing applies to Tekken and and Mortal Kombat and Injustice same thing to, thing to apply with also pretty much every um, Unreal Engine type of um, game is that it always runs on 60 frames per second it, it, you cannot play this game on a 30 frames per second cat it's not gonna work just basically gonna lag. If you have a low, low, low end PC, it's not gonna work because this game is, you know, was built for 60 frames per second. So just get a console. If you cannot afford this, <laughs> which is very expensive. Twenty twenty by ten eighty. So yeah, everything is, looks set already. Post processing, major, major. It's all good. This is my girl, my wife, Sophie T. Let's do this. Yes, he is. That little SSD. Crazy load speed. Same thing applies also to copy paste. <laughs> and taking and copying data and transferring data. You can already tell it's, you know, it's, it's locked on 60 frames per second. The only thing that's bothering me with this Soul Calibur game is the blur on the background. You cannot change that. It is crazy. Yeah, the blur, it's just, you know, it's ugly looking, the blur on the background. You know, they should have never done it that way. But yeah, it's so weird, the background.
Yeah, she's... No! Oh no, no! Gaffy, no, oh, 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 boom, boom! Gotcha! <laughs> My girl! Booby Chan! The white wolf! Get her out of the river! There's this booby chan! Two! So yeah, um, then everything is perfect. It's cool that you... <laughs> I wish it was on the Switch, but... Yeah, everything... This thing is built... This thing is built like a beast. The big question here is that, um, do I recommend something this expensive? 999 US dollars, 50 dollars a month. And that's too much for me, of course. Here's the thing, if you're just, you know, looking for something, um, or better, if you don't have a desktop PC, you don't like to build, you're lazy also, I highly, highly recommend this, $50 a month, it's, it's too much, a little bit, but I highly recommend this, better than just getting a desktop PC that you need to constantly upgrade all the time. That's the problem with PC game gamers, they like to upgrade and upgrade. 1080, 8 core CPU, to mention, um, it's the same thing as buying also a upgraded PC already. It's just, and if, it's cheaper, of course, you're gonna buy it per parts, but if you don't know how to assemble a PC, and I would just recommend something like this. If you buy a pre-built PC, it's the same price as like this also, $999 also. And this is, I do believe this is more powerful than a pre-built PC. But, um, there are other options. There is also the Lenovo. And there is also a lower-end version of this. The, another Asus, of course. Those are 600 to $700. It's good. It's still, it's still a little bit expensive. And here's the thing is that, um, this thing is not, it's not, you know, it's not HDR. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even 4K, but it is VR ready. But v VR is VR is bo bullshit. And the good thing about it is that games are, are running on 1080p, of course, 60 frames per second. Sometimes it's good also when it's 900p. It's a good thing. It's, it's more power. This thing is more powerful than the Xbox, of course, and the PS4. <clears throat> and 1060 GVX. Um, six core. I wish it was eight core, but eight core CPUs is gonna reach you around two grand already, and with a 1080 GDX Nvidia. But this is a good option already, and uh, good for editing also if you're, if you're doing YouTube also. But if you're just um, looking for gaming, you are better off with a Nintendo Switch. You got Doom here already. Come on. <laughs> Wolf is signed here already. Bethesda games are here already. Those are all PC games. Multicat. Nintendo exclusives. 
are vastly superior to any console or any PC or laptop or or mo mobile devices. You're still bred of the wilds here. <laughs> None of that. Even even if you do the uh, Wii U emulator, it's just garbage. There's no there's no Seedle Blade here. There's no Mario Odyssey. There's no Splatoon here. Nintendo Switch has it all. Best. You know, this is this is the greatest handle device ever created. So. If you're just gonna buy some a portable gaming handled machine, just get a Nintendo Switch. If you want, yeah. if you want HDR for your gaming, get an Xbox One X. <clears throat> just get a or it's either you go you go with a Switch or with an Xbox One or a Switch with a lower lower end um, much lower end seven hundred dollar laptop. It's, that's still a good deal. You'll probably run Tomb Raider around 720p, 60 frames per second, and <clears throat> probably run also Hellblade, um, 60 frames per second, 720p. That works also. This thing is for <laughs> you need a lot of money for this. That's what I'm trying to say. It's still a, a beautiful laptop. You know, look at it. <laughs> it's, it's this thing is a beast already. It's a beast machine already. It's also you know it's it's also good that if you have a switch and this one I would recommend this I would much recommend this than also getting a gaming PC is it's better to play of course everything on the go nowadays it's better to bring your gaming stuff on the go all the time gaming PCs are just you know it's it's whatever you, all you can do is just play at home with it it's not in compared to this one so yeah but do I still recommend this laptop hell no <laughs> hell no $999 you can do a lot with $999 can you get a Sega Saturn? can you get a Dreamcast with that? you can get a lot of action figures with that <clears throat> you can get Panzer Dragoon um, Saga on that also with that type of money and a Switch and an Xbox also $999 is a lot of money so I do not recommend this gaming laptop. I do not recommend it. Aki Hikilmar here with a quick announcement. This will be my first mega giveaway. All you need to do is subscribe to my channel. And once we reach a goal of 100,000 subscribers, one lucky winner out of the 100,000 subscribers will get a chance to win a Nintendo Switch and Zelda, ARMS, and Splatoon 2. So please click that subscribe button and get a chance to win all these awesome prizes.